Hello there everyone, Shadovin here. Welcome back to more Blasphemous. Last I left you, we're making our way all over the world, collecting all the items, all the, uh, all the stuff that's been left behind over the course of the game. Basically, we're doing our big, you know, complete everything run. So, that led us down here, we went through all this stuff, and now we're heading our way down. So we got some stuff down here, got some stuff down here, and then we'll have some stuff in here. And I imagine it's probably going to just keep taking us on a loop until we've done everything. But, let's continue on. We need to head over to this room right here. Up and away we go. Alright. Yep. That's what we're trying to get to right there. And not just... Well, not like that. Ah! Sully of Excommunication. Prayer that ignites the blood with unbridled fervor. For a while, the quick attacks of the Penitent One are replaced with a devastating blow that annihilates enemies. Forgive me, Father. Excuse me from this oath. Do not let your eternal miracle take over my soul and possess my body. I fear the miracle more than I fear my own torment. I mean, to be fair, based on what we've seen in this game, you should fear the miracle. The miracle seems pretty awful, just to be honest. I not just yes I can okay all right now we need to head down into the next area underneath us yep, just keep going down down want to go over here to the center not the way to do that. And just jump. Boom! Hello. Alright. Grievance of Sins. We're trying to get down to these areas. <laughs> oh, goodness. Excuse me, everyone. All right. Easy enough. Uh, that's right, this place has the smoke. Want the smoke? Is that how the kids say it nowadays? Want the smoke? Catch his hands? All right, let's go ahead and put on, I think we're going to need that, but we definitely want that right this minute. Oh, here's my breathing one. I have the breathing one on, okay. All right, down we go. that thing. I don't remember what that is now. Well, I gotta go that way, so I guess I can check. Ow. Oh! And we just keep dropping. 
We went the wrong way. We went the wrong way today. I know that's such a big surprise. Now we're going the right path. Might as well hit those. You know, grab some stuff. I need to upgrade my uh, sword more. Oh. No. Oh, I'm here. Damn it. Alright, I wanted to go check what that thing was. Because I don't remember that. Probably a vendor of some sort. that was oh it's this thing which we don't now we don't know what this is yeah I don't know ow out of here That's it. There's what we're looking for. Thank you. And this is where this crazy thing was. It dropped for me a knot of hair. Tangle of hair knotted with the strength of three broken bonds. A strong knot allows it to be used as a rosary bead, bearing part of its unyielding strength to the wearer. What does that mean? damage, maybe? All Lewis had come to this sacred link knelt in the presence of that fruit of the miracle, thus making it an object of worship from that moment on. He built an altar worthy of such holiness and placed it there. Shortly afterwards, during one bleak night, the priest who slept inside the church heard a loud groan, a cry made of three voices and one voice at the same time. When we got there, the egg was gone. Ever since then, I've been looking for it, visiting all the places I could and talking to every soul I could. All right, now we want to head over here to the cistern. We just want to keep going right. So let us proceed. Hopefully this episode we will be done with all the backtracking. I'm not going to promise we will be, but that is the hope. Oh. Got some random tears for finding her here. Huh. Oh, okay. Unusual, but I mean, whatever. All right, so let's see here. Our first priority is to make our way all the way up to this room right here. All right. Maybe not, actually. Hold on, it's very confusing. It looks like we're going to do a lot of stuff in the cistern, so... I'm here. So yes, I want to get to this chamber right here. So just up and right. Yeah, 
It's stopping. Oh. Friends. See ya. Squish. Ah! Oh, I need the... Where is it? I need the... I can move in mud. Severed hand. A severed hand that tightly grasps a broken bell, sometimes afflicted by slight spasms. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. As soon as the atrocious earth tremor was heard, they knew something dreadful had happened. They searched for their master in the deepest parts of the cave, where they were met with a gigantic dust cloud that extended far beyond their eyes, and even though they called the name of their master, there were no answers. Days went by until the cloud cleared and they could face the devastating consequences of the landslide, feeling hopeless. But suddenly, amidst their tears, they heard a faraway sound. Okay, so that's a quest item. Alright. What's, what's this? Oh, I guess that's nothing. So now we want to head up to room... Let's see here. I'm going to go up. Oh, we can finally get through this doorway. Right. Get out of here, y'all. What? There we go. Zambra to the resplendent crown. Kim intoned to the rays of the sun, which generously bathed even the darkest of places. Its blessing increased the tears harvested by Makupa for a while. Many yearned for these remainders of the miracle, but greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. I cannot hold your hand now that you sleep in the wind among the trees. I cannot speak to you now that you're singing with the midnight crickets. I cannot see you now that you're looking from the sun into the hot sand. And I cannot forget you. You will always be part of me. In memory of Mariano Soler. Soler. Okay. Now we need to head. So we are there. So, okay, now we get to finally go figure out this stuff. So we want to go down and around. Wrap! Can't do nothing with a wrap. Whee! Alright, let me double check. Okay, so we want to go down now. Oop. And we want to go over this way. And fall. All right, because we have the gas now, so we can finally explore this route. Didn't do this before. Ah! Uh, where are we at now? Hello. All right. Uh, let's do this route next. Secret? Nope. Oh. Ah. Then we got corpses. Okay, hold on. 
ditch something. Half do not return. Everyone passes. Half do not return. Everyone passes. Okay, we'll come back to this. Hey, got here. Hyoid bone of Cynix the Beggar. Cynix spent a lifetime fleeing pain, which caused more and more suffering to this to his tormented soul. Only when he accepted pain as part of his life did he find a meaning to. What the hell? Play a game in exchange for twenty five hundred. Um, sure, I guess. Blasphemous Alcazar of Greece. For it. It's like a Castlevania. What did that do? Ah, I could have done that and then went and got the item. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't helpful. I think so. Not really sure what those are doing for me, but... I'm so confused by this sudden tonal shift. Aha! Yeah, this is very Castlevania-esque. If I needed health, I would have got it there. Okay. I need to just hit all my buttons real quick to see if there's something for a special or anything I have, and it doesn't look like it. Okay, so those give me points. This is so weird. I like it though. Okay, what was the point of that? I'm gonna end up wasting this whole video doing this. I, mean, I guess it's not really a waste per se, but it's certainly odd. Ooh. Time this to like. Ah! Did 
This is very classic Castlevania-esque where you can only take three hits. So confused. What does the skull do? What does any of it mean? Pretty easy. I'm gonna end up dying some stupid way here soon, I can already tell. As I said that. Is there like a boss or something somewhere? Uh oh. I was talking oh and here I was talking shit about how easy it was all right let's go back over to that other odd room oh had a puzzle oh see that yeah there's now a everyone passes have to not return. Okay. Let's do that too. Uh, let's make them both two. Everyone passes. Have to not return. Oh! Okay. Silver grape. A dead fruit converted into a bee. Display of clerical vanity. Its cold hardness passes onto its wood, enhancing their defenses considerably. I must melt more beads, as many beads as I can. I need their silver, I need their embellished floral curves. The virtue of silver would adorn my lungs inside and out, and when I breathe, the pure grace of miracle will penetrate. It will embellish my stomach inside and out, and when I eat, I will be nourished with the pure grace of the mirror. It will ornament my eyes inside and out, and when I look, I will see the miracle itself. Crazy. Yeah, this is all defense. That's just magical attacks, which I don't even know when I'm taking magic attacks and when I'm not, so... Okay. I don't really understand that puzzle, but whatever. It worked, so it's good enough for me. Uh, yeah, I need... Yeah, I saw that up there. Uh... Let's, here. I don't think this is how I'm supposed to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Ha <laughs> ha, it worked. Oh, it's enemies. I ain't seen two of those. Chalice of Inverted Versus. Rusty iron cup of simple appearance. Its interior is embossed lackluster silver and depicts rows of spiral verses which descend to the bottom. These rhymes speak of pagan beast and forbidden fruit. But, Father, where are all the idols, paintings, and statues that the mother has seized and banned? 
If they were inspired by the faith in our miracle, they should not have been destroyed. It would be a grave sin. I don't know, dear son, but I would bet my faith that those underground galleries hide more than air. Okay. Uh, okay, so when it's got that smoke at the bottom like that, that means I can drop. Why did that? I equipped the wrong thing. Oh god, where am I at? Oh no. Oh. Room's there. Uh, oh. Why did that not work? Okay, hold on. I don't need... Yeah, I need to be able to not... That's the one. Damn it. Ha! Ah. Oh, that's annoying. Now we gotta run all the way back. Oh, I saw what I'm trying to get to there. I... Let's see, I could potentially... This seems dangerous. Yeah, let's not... Let's not mess this up. I don't want to die again. Not that death is really a big deal, but still don't want to do it. Am I going? Yeah, I just want to go down. Now, left and down some more. Okay, that wasn't too bad to get back here real quick. Alright, now we can do this. Brought us here. Now we need to do it again. There we go. Avicular of Kanihu, the murderer. Kanihu, although clumsy, took advantage of his cheerful and jovial demeanor to trick merchants and clergymen, the intention of killing them and stealing their belongings. All right, according to my notes, our next step is back to uh, Albero. Let's go up and get to pretty easily. Oh, so let's do it. Heading on up to Albero, where good things happen because it's Albero. Something like that. I'm not really sure where I'm going with that song, but. That's good enough for now. Alright, so we'll exit out here and just work our way up. Oh yeah, I know where we're at now. That Quicksilver guy's like right over here too. Still don't really know what to do about him. Like, I, I know what he does, but I don't know if it's actually useful. Turning our bones while we're here. Tears. This great ossuary is filling up. The ashes flow evermore from the urns. Bring the bones before me, and we will uncover the truth that they keep silent. Right on that, bud. All right, folks. So we are going to end it here. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. I greatly appreciate it, and I love you for it. All the support, all the views. It all means the world to me. I just cannot thank you enough. 
like the game, the content, the channel, just consider giving me a like, follow, comment, subscribe, ring notification bell. All that good stuff really helps me out. Remember, wherever you're at, I hope you're having, having a wonderful morning, day, afternoon, evening, or night. I love you. Doing great, and I'll see you next time.